Hello again, everyone. Uh, this is The Woodworking Apprentice, and uh, I, I wanted to take an opportunity to kind of run through uh, the real passion that I have about woodworking, and that is the different types and grains uh, that comes with wood. So uh, kind of to start out with, I'm just going to talk through a few different uh, samples of wood that I have here in my workshop. Each one of these are things that I've done projects with. Uh, for the most part, I work with hardwoods. Um, so I do have a softwood in here, uh, and I'll kind of walk through and talk through uh, each one of them. But um, for the most part, I work with hardwoods, so I'll kind of walk you through that. But the thing that I find most amazing about it is uh, I feel like everyone, you know, has seen a tree. Everyone is, has seen wood products before, but most people don't recognize that there are thousands of different types of wood and lumber that comes from trees. Different colors, different shapes, different styles, different um, grain patterns, and different uh, types of... Uh, figment or uh, coloring that comes in, comes inside of those so uh, it's very very unique to see these different types of wood and um, that, that's what I enjoy about it is seeing all of these different uh, these different woods that are available out there so uh, I, would, I do want to emphasize that none of these woods have been tainted in any way all of them are basically straight out of the tree some of them have been have been cut and cleaned up a little bit but um, they're they're straight lumber no varnishes no dyes no stains so, uh, all right, let's get to it, because I, I love uh, walking through this stuff. So, uh, I showed you this, uh, this uh, cutting board uh, blank that I have already made up, but uh, essentially this is made out of two different types of wood. Um, American walnut is the darker color here, and then the lighter color is hard maple. So, of course, both of these are hardwoods, um, very, very good for uh, cut, uh, cutting boards. Um, and uh, depending on what you're going to use it for, uh, they can be very resilient, very easy to cut through. Um, so they're very friendly for a beginner, I'll, I'll say that. So um, you can work with either one of these um, pretty easily. Um, the next one is pine. Okay, So this is the softwood that I have um, in the group here. But um, pine is a, just a pretty even wood. The grain pattern tends to be pretty typical. And um, all in all, it's very useful for a lot of different projects and, and things that you can kind of work through. But it is a soft wood. So if it's going to be something that you're going to use for food grade, uh, you need to step it up to a hard wood. That way the, the pores in the wood don't absorb any bacteria, etc. So, um, all right, so there's pine. The next one is pecan. Um, so I actually came into a, a lot of pecan for a project that I did very recently. And um, it has a very unique kind of characteristic to it. So a lot of woods will change color whenever you put um, finishes on it. So whether it's a teak oil or boiled linseed oil or something like that, uh, a lot of woods will change color. Well, right now this board looks mostly the same color. Um, after you add some sort of finish to it, it is very likely that this board will come and will actually emphasize two very different colors. It'll have a uh, very uh, dark kind of streak that runs through it, but then it'll also have a light portion of it as well. It almost acts as though the oil can't penetrate portions of the wood, um, and I find that very interesting. So uh, I will, I've got some uh, pictures of projects that I've done with each of these woods, and I will try and uh, link those below or make them accessible. That way we can kind of see the things that I'm talking about through here. But pecan, uh, very, very beautiful wood whenever it's finished. All right, so those are kind of the common ones that we've, we've seen um, we see in North America most of the time. But I wanted to get into some exotic woods because this is where I find it to get very, very interesting. Um, so kind of the first one that I want to walk through is a wood that I've used a lot of, and I enjoy using it. So this is called Purple Heart, okay? And I know it's a little difficult to see there on the screen, but uh, this is that a natural purple color. It comes right out of the tree this way. Um, it does have a pigment that grows naturally in the tree, so if you don't treat it a little carefully whenever you're, you're um, finishing it, that, that pigment can bleed. Um, I've run into that a time or two, but it's this natural purple color. My wife's favorite color is purple, so I actually um, have used this quite a bit in little projects that I've done for her, but it, it's a relatively hard wood. It's fairly easy to work with. It, it stays together well, so it doesn't... Um, chip out very bad. You can plane it. You can um, uh, join it pretty easily. And um, it's, of course, it comes out gorgeous whenever it's been finished. It actually darkens up a little bit, so it's a real deep purple. Very good. Very nice. Pretty wood. 
All right, the next one. This is tiger wood. Um, so I don't have a great piece of tiger wood uh, left over. I did buy quite a bit of it for uh, a coffee table that I was building. But um, tiger wood, if it's cut appropriately, then it'll have this kind of light orange uh, amber color, but the grain pattern will show up almost like tiger stripes. So uh, very pretty whenever it's all said and done. All right. Um, Paduk. Okay. So Paduk is this real kind of orange color. It will brighten up whenever it's finished. So if you add an oil to it, it'll actually become a, an even uh, more vibrant orange uh, under most circumstances. So I've never put bold linseed oil on uh, Paduk, uh, but um, I, I, I expect it to, to operate pretty much the same way. Uh, very beautiful wood whenever it comes out. And like I said, these are all these are all natural. I haven't done anything to these. All right, wingy. Um, this is this is a very small piece of wingy that I have. Uh, I don't have quite a bit of it, but you can you can see those kind of natural um, light brown against the black um, stripes that kind of run through there. That is the way that this this tree grows, and it naturally grows that way. So if you look on the edge here. Um, which is even harder to see with those saw marks, but um, it, the grain pattern is continuous all the way through the board. Um, so no matter which side of, of it you're looking at, you can see those distinct ridges that uh, come and go through there. So uh, very, very unique. It does have a tendency to split along those ridges, um, so it can be a, a rather unstable wood depending on what you're using it for. Uh, I wouldn't suggest using it for anything like a cutting board or anything like that because over time it would probably become uh, porous to where bacteria and things could grow in there. So, uh, but other than that, very, very beautiful wood. All right, and then probably the most intriguing wood that I have in the shop. I do not have a lot of it. Um, it does tend to be expensive, but this is called Catalox. So um, Catalox is a very hard wood. Um, wood is rated on what's called a Janka hardness. Uh, it's a scale. Um, basically, anything over 800 is considered hardwood. Well, uh, Catalox has a 3800 Janka hardness um, most of the time. So uh, it is very, very hard. It does have a tendency to be hard to work with. But the thing that I'll say is that whenever you get through with a project, it ends up being a very gorgeous project. Um, the Catalox has this those natural uh, ribs of the real dark... Um, black that runs through there and then kind of the amber brown um, so whenever you finish it whenever you put some polish to it those uh, those colors kind of emphasize and it adds a lot of depth to the wood so this wood just naturally has depth and it, it just comes off gorgeous so uh, all right so that, those are all the samples that I have for you today those are just some of the things that I have lying around most of these are cutoffs from projects that I've done in the past but uh, I want to take the time and kind of walk you through that because like I said the the grain is the the grain and the different types of wood are what I really enjoy about woodworking. I think it's fascinating that all of these things naturally grow out, out in the environment. So um, thank you very much for watching. 